What is up, family, a.k.a. Ohana? It's your boy again. And your boy got a couple new pickups. It's been a little while. Uh, all the craziness going on in the world right now, but we'll get into that at the end. But as for now, boy ended up picking up the two pairs of the Yeezy Cinders and a pair of the Yeezy Desert Sage. Uh, I don't know how, but I ended up with uh, two size sixes, which is wifey size. So if she wants them, she'll pick and choose whatever she wants and whatever she doesn't want. Probably just end up getting rid of it. But your boy did score his size in the cinders in a 12, which I probably will be keeping because I actually really like them. But let's just do a little quick look. Obviously, this is pretty late, so you guys have seen these a million times. But here's the size 6 Desert Sage that I ended up getting. Let's get a little bit of light back there. I mean, your typical Yeezy, it's not a bad color. I don't mind it, but it's just, I wouldn't want my size in it. Because this bright orange, whatever at the top, to me, that, that's not my thing. But yeah, as you can see, size 6. Same old, same old Yeezy. A little different stitching on the front. But for the most part, you've seen one Yeezy. You already know what it is with the boost at the bottom. But right there, that's the Desert Sage. And then we'll look at my pair. This is a size 12 in the Cinder, which a lot of people kept saying that it's not really black black. It's more of a gray tint, and they're right. It's kind of like a light black, but I dig it. I really like it. It's pretty dope, easy to wear with whatever. With obviously the all gum bottom, the boost and the yellow boost on the back for that pop, which doesn't really matter because ain't nobody gonna see that really. But yeah, it definitely has like a little gray tint to it, but it is more of a light black almost. So if you're worried about, oh, it's gonna be too light, it really isn't. It says light is light black can be, I guess. But it's a pretty dope shoe, I like it. If you don't have any black Yeezys, it's definitely a good come up and they're not even going for that much right now so that's the cinder and obviously I got the cinder in the back in a size 6 and right now just chilling in the infinity but yeah let's get into what's going on just overall it's some crazy times man uh, Cali's been locked down for about it's been a good three weeks one one week was uh, at your own discretion and the last two weeks have been pretty much mandatory quarantine and hopefully you guys are staying in and not being like these oh so smart kids on spring break and whatnot because a lot of people aren't taking this seriously and a lot of people thought oh just because I'm young it's not going to affect me but now it's coming out that no, no one's safe uh, there's been news reports of 17 year olds sadly passing away 20 year olds 22 30 40 what whatever age you are and you think you're safe you're not uh there are just two cases out here of two kids getting it so just stay safe stay six feet away if you're able to work from home work from home i know it sucks being inside being quarantined uh, cabin fever eventually sets in because you're just like i just want to go but the longer people ignore the rules the longer it's going to take for this to pass so you might as well do your month or two months whatever it is right now because everyone mess around and not listen and we end up spending six months out here trying to get this thing under control and remember the goal isn't isn't going to be like everyone's going to be cured people are still going to get this this is probably going to be a disease that's going to be around the goal is to make sure that everyone doesn't get it at once so we're not overcrowding the hospitals. People can get the care they need and give everyone the specialist time to create a cure or a vaccine that can help us with it. So hopefully you guys stay safe, stay up. Uh, remember, during this time, if you guys sell off some of your collection or you can't buy anything, don't even worry about it. Now's not the time to worry about that stuff. Especially if you got a family, hey, if you got to get rid of some of your collection, you got to do what you got to do. So hopefully you guys are staying safe. Uh, just keep your head up. This is gonna be this is gonna be one for the long haul. But remember, you're you're gonna be all right. 
everyone's going to make it through this, and we're going to come out the other end hopefully better all the way around. So until next time, remember to stay grateful, respectful, and humble. I'll holler at you later. Peace.